Illustrator also adds support for more powerful font format called OpenType. OpenType fonts are Unicode compliant and are also cross platform compatible, meaning they work equally as well on both Macintosh and Windows platforms. There's also a tremendous amount of functionality that's hidden inside of these OpenType fonts. Let's take a look at how some of that appears and works inside of Illustrator. I have here a text object that I've created, and I've used a typeface here called Gamma Premier Pro. Pro is an open type font that has extended functionality inside of it. Anytime you see a typeface with the word Pro after it, that means that it has extended functionality. Standard fonts have just a regular character set inside of it. So I'm just going to go to my window menu and I'm going to choose Type. And then I'm going to open up my open type panel. That's going to give me the access that I need to get that, basically unlock that hidden functionality inside of the open type font. Just by clicking on some of these buttons, I can tell you to turn on that functionality. For example, if I want to add discretionary ligatures, I just click that on and notice now that you can use that one. Let me turn on some swatch characters, notice that I have those swatch there. So it's very easy for me to just add this functionality to the typeface. I can even highlight individual characters, maybe highlight the same thing like that. And turn on something called stylistic altering. That's just a typeface that has additional ways that that particular character can appear. Maybe, you know, select this E over here and turn on the stylistic altering as well. So very quickly, it's very easy to go into a typeface and just adjust how that behavior is. see listed every single character in just about every single typeface. The way that I can use is I can just simply put my cursor anywhere inside of text, for example, right there. I see where that particular character appears, and I can very easily put other characters in as well. Now, this is a pro typeface, which means it has an extended character set, lots of characters in there. Notice some of them also have different versions on there. But I can narrow this down by just telling the illustrator list panel to only show me maybe ornament characters. Maybe I want to put the name ornament here. So that's how we use the glyph panel in collaboration with the open type panel as well to really control a powerful part of working on typing out there. Let's talk about font support in Illustrator. 